What is up guys, welcome back to another video. And yes, I have oil all over my face, I've been working on another car. It is freezing today, like my hands are completely numb. <laughs> Blake's over there, give him a cheeky follow, I'll put his Instagram up here. <laughs> Um, today we've got a cool little addition for the Jay-Z. Obviously it's not going to get bolted on yet, but we're going to put it on today so you can see it. Alright, so we got a cheeky little delivery from Max Speeding Rods. Um, I'm going to leave a link to where you can get one of these turbos all in the description and check out their Instagram here. But today, look at this bad boy, I've already opened it obviously. We have got the little Turbski, the little spooly boy. Let's get it out. Let me get it out. I can't do it with one hand. Here we are. Look at this beauty. You ready? Pop. Beautiful, mate. It's all lovely and balanced as well. They make sure every turbo is nicely balanced. As you can see, the ground down nut there. This one is a GT3037. I had to remember that. Um, it's got a four inch inlet, so you can put a nice big pipe on there for all of the dose noises <laughs> it's got the anti-purge system so that you don't get too much purge uh, not purge surge sorry um, this one is water cooled and also you got your oil fittings as well and this particular model comes with a four bolt rear and a T3 uh, manifold fitting. I can't remember the exact details of the sizes of the turbines and everything, but I will put it on the screen or you can click the link down below to check it out. Also, if anyone wants to get one of these turbos or anything from the Max Speeding website, they do coilovers, they do rods, they do literally anything performance wise for your car. Um, use code FULLER, I'll put it here on the screen, and you'll get 10% off the whole website. They do some cool stuff, and everything's very affordable as well, so go check them out. As you probably saw in one of the previous videos, we put this manifold on. It is a cheap junk eBay manifold. Um, it was like 190 quid or something like that, I can't remember exactly. And the welds inside, can't really see, but they are questionable. It looks like I welded it, and... I don't really know how to weld, so yeah, it looks pretty from the outside, don't get me wrong, it looks quite nice, but yeah, I will be upgrading to like a Walton Motorsport 1 or something in the future, just the budget doesn't really allow for that right now, I've already spent too much on this thing, way more than I imagined, <laughs> and it's got the little V-band 44mm for wastegate down there, the only thing is, this is T4, and the turbo is T3. What I'm going to do, you can buy an adapter that goes from T4 to T3, and I'm going to run that for now until I upgrade the manifold. That will be in the future. I just want to get the car running. That's my main goal. I want the car running. And I don't want to be sitting around saving up for ages for nice parts like this. But I'll do that once it's running, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, today I'll bolt it up quickly. Just put a bolt in there just so you can see what it's like, but obviously... It's not the correct fitting at the moment. There we go. Jeez. Obviously, I've just got it resting on there at the moment. But, oh my God, that looks so sick. Look at that. That looks gnarly, doesn't it? It looks so good. Like, literally, I don't know. It just looks like it's going to make some jam, doesn't it? <laughs> this turbo is rated for 500 horsepower, and that is... Practically what I'm aiming at with this build between the 450 500 to the wheels None of this crank stuff to the wheels <laughs> uh, But yeah, that looks absolutely insane It's gonna make some nice noises Yeah, yeah I'll probably put that on now just to show you quick. Yeah There we go A little dose pipe obviously Probably not going to use this, or I might, but chop it down and stuff. Going to have more bends. This is titanium as well. So, yes. Oh my god, that looks so good. And um, we've obviously got the air filter from FMIC. We've gone there. Big boy, but yeah, it'll probably be much shorter, obviously. Yes. It looks absolutely insane. Can't wait. I just can't get over how good this looks. Literally, like, I mean, look at that. So sick. 
I can't obviously give my full review right now because I haven't run it or anything but I'll probably do another video doing a full review once this is all set up in the car and running and yes I've also got all the fittings here I might pop them on quick just to show you sort of how they're going to go for these are for the oil return and oil feed and I don't know where I put the other bits where did I put the other bits and there we go so this one's the oil feed line and then here we've got the return you can also get these on max speed and rods and use my code but yeah nice braided lines um, but yeah let's mock this up and see how she's going to fit so here we have some of the AIM fittings we've got dash 10 for the return they even give you a little bung to weld in if you need it my sump's already got it that's the return from the turbo and they come with gaskets as well I've just mocked up this one here and we've got the feed line here I need to clock the the core of the turbo so that it's about there because then the return can come out this way and don't have to go through the manifold I will be heat wrapping all of it as well the, the piping and then it just comes down here to our little sandwich plate of which we've got the sensors and then you've got the feed there just run up there nicely and I'll probably make some brackets for it have it tucked down there out the way and then go into the turbo oh yeah I forgot to mention as well we're actually going to be making a full titanium exhaust system for this I've got all the piping already so that is going to be wild um, I'm going to get an adapter for this as well that goes from a 4 bolt fitting to a V-band 3 inch V-band and then have V-band welded onto the tie so it's a full titanium V-band downpipe See there we've got all the titanium piping boy it's going to be sick still doing work on the engine bay filled a lot of holes and stuff um, just need to weld in the reinforcement plates we might do like what Blake's done on his as well and put reinforcement plates in here sand that down and then yeah get this painted and then we can actually get the engine in because the engine's pretty much ready if you saw the previous video I finished up the wiring loom I just literally need to tidy that up and then that's done um, but yeah it's getting there look at how sexy that is didn't think I'd ever own an engine that was that sexy it's so good but yeah next couple of videos hopefully this will go in the car I think I'll probably do a video on doing the engine bay and painting it and stuff I need still need to buy the paint I've got the flake but not the actual paint test fitted one of Ross's wheels on there I'm gonna have to get some beefy ones but yeah it's slowly getting there slowly getting there but yeah if you're interested in getting one of these turbos click the link down below use the code best bung for buck bung for buck bang for buck turbos can't beat it can't wait to make some jam with this thing it's gonna be so rowdy i mean look at it look at it beautiful absolutely beautiful also i need to re get these repainted because as you can see it's all flaking off don't know what's going on there i primed it and everything don't know it's a bit weird it's like the alley's corroding underneath oops just broke that put that back on didn't didn't see that there you go like new me um yeah gonna get them repainted leave me a comment if you know anywhere good to get it done i've had a few people message about places um so might already have them done by the time this goes up but anyway also a lot of you guys mentioned about the power steering pump so i'm probably gonna put an e46 power steering pump on there if anyone's got one for sale dm me on instagram i'm looking at getting one of them because these are prone to fail and if I put a 46 one on it will also just bolt straight up to my current lines don't have to make any weird stuff but yeah lovely jabbly mate Today's video is probably a short one. I just wanted to show you guys the turbo setup. It is looking so sick. I'm so happy. 
it's getting there. Not a lot, not a lot left to do before we can get it in the car, so that's pretty exciting now. That's the main thing. I just want it in the car. I'm <laughs> itching to get it in the car. Get that engine bay finished, and then we can get it in. But yeah, massive shout out to Max Speed and Rods for the turbo. Can't wait to hear this thing scream. It's gonna be so sick. Um, and again, if you are interested in any of their parts, click the link down below. We run their coilovers on the cars as well. They're sick. And use code Fuller, and you get 10%. It's a no-brainer. Save yourself some money. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.